The Bobblehead Guy proudly presents the BGSD GBFE. The Bobblehead Guy's Super Duper Guide for a better fallout experience. A no-nonsense guide made especially for the fallout enthusiast. In today's episode, the complete guide for the power armor enthusiast, also known as, yes, you can actually use your power armor as much as you want. This is the Bubblehead Guy here, at one of my super secret hidden power armor garage, to give you a full tour of the things you will need to make the most out of your power armor in Fallout 4. Note that this guide is for the basic vanilla version of the game and applies for the PC, PS4 and Xbox version of the game. You probably heard a lot of people pretending the power armor is a luxury to use when the absolute necessity arises. It is not true at all. Even without any perks or special modifications, a fusion core gives you a good solid 60 to 65 minutes of standard gameplay. By standard gameplay, I mean walking, running and crouching. Of course, sprinting depletes your fusion core faster, jetpacking depletes it even faster. But be aware that jumping and fast traveling has absolutely no effect on your fusion core energy consumption. Part 1. The Model there are five different models to choose from. First thing to know about any model of power armor is that you can upgrade their statistics in two stages for the Raider power armor and in six stages for the others. From A to F for the T models and from Mark 1 to Mark 6 for the X model. Note that the radiation resistance of every model is 1050, whether they are upgraded or not. The entry point model is the Raider Power Armor, a pretty useless piece of equipment. A shame considering its cool, crude, rough look. Its statistics are low and can only be boosted once. Unboosted, its combined damage resistance is 500. Its energy resistance is 250. Once maxed out, you can reach a damage resistance of 620 and an energy resistance of 370. The T-45 has the lowest stats of any military power armor. Unboosted, its combined damage resistance is 500. Its energy resistance is 310. Once maxed out, you can reach a damage resistance of 1100 and an energy resistance of 910. The T-51 is a tangible upgrade over the T-45. Unboosted, its combined damage resistance is 740. Its energy resistance is 490. Once maxed out, you can reach a damage resistance of 1340 and an energy resistance of 1090. The T60 is the best T model and offers a very good resistance even from scratch. Unboosted, its combined damage resistance is 980. Its energy resistance is 645. Once maxed out, you can reach a damage resistance of 1580 and an energy resistance of 1245. The X01 power armor is the pinnacle of military power armor technology. Unboosted, its combined damage resistance is 1220. Its energy resistance is 790. Once maxed out, you can reach a damage resistance of 1820 and an energy resistance of 1390. Note that a fully upgraded T armor at level 6 or F is equivalent to the next level armor at level 4 or D. Every upgrade gets you up two stages. For example, a T45 F is equivalent to a T51 D and a T60 B. 
but is one stage under an X01 Mark I. Most power armors you can find in the game are leveled. This means that you will likely find a T45 between level 1 and 15, T51 between level 10 and 25, T60 between level 20 and 35, and an X01 likely not before 30, but it can spawn at around level 25. I've been consistently able to get the Court 35 X01 at level 28. The power armor spawns the moment you get close to its sector the first time. This means that if you pass near a power armor, say at level 5, and did not notice it, if you actually discover it at level 50, it will still be a T45, even though it may look like another model. Also, you could discover a power armor that looks like a weaker model, but actually is a stronger one. Pay attention to the type of armor displayed in the armor's inventory. It's the one you will ultimately get. Mr. Bubblehead Guy hopes you liked this guide and hope you'll be looking forward to his other super duper guides. If you did like it, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. The Wasteland is a harsh place and you should be better prepared thanks to the Bubblehead Guy.